So he invited me over to his church. So it's a normal Sunday. I go visiting his church. It was on his birthday. So I thought that maybe after our service, we'll just do something small for his birthday. Then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit selfish uh, <laughs> to propose on my birthday. And wasn't very creative, yeah, to be honest. Um, so, no, <laughs> so no one helping with the, with the surprise and all that. So I, I had a ring, which she says is better than the wedding ring. Um, she likes it more. Um, and so after service, um, I don't know what we were doing uh, on the pulpit. Mm, I don't know. So, um, you know, right inside the, the church it was a small uh, church hall, like 50 to 70. Um, so I, I woke up and I can't remember the detail because I'm, I'm a man, you forget. <laughs> so uh, I proposed in the church. I'm seeing it in, in gray, she can see it in color, so maybe she can say s some more. I actually woke up to introduce myself. I uh, had been to that church several times, but I had not introduced myself to the members of the church. Uh, I was friends with a few members, but had never introduced myself. I yeah. think he had ganged up with someone in the church. I don't remember who. So I introduced myself, and after I finished my introduction, he's there. He's coming towards me. Uh, and he gets on one knee. <laughs> what do you mean? In church. Okay. You know? And uh, being a church girl, this is like a dream come true, you know, and uh, I immediately say yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it in 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 color. My memory is faded. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Then and even now, both of us are not very good with the PDA, and so I thought I should not put her in in, in the uh, in the um spotlight and you know the pressure mm -hmm. of a public uh, proposal. And I, I, I wouldn't be very confident as well with a public <laughs> proposal. So the church one really worked. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but then my, my dad has, had passed on, so I only had my mom to, to tell. My mom is the, the kind of woman who doesn't, uh, is not very hands on on, on my relationships. So, uh, and, and I think culturally, I I didn't need to tell her that I have a girlfriend. I only need to tell her if we are planning dowry <laughs> and you know. Um, so I didn't tell her until we were ready to settle down and to begin um, dowry arrangements. As for her parents, um, she sort of, before I met them, drew a picture of who they are, their personality. Her mom is uh, very gentle, uh, toned down. Her dad is the opposite, very energetic, very hands-on. So uh, before I met them, I sort of knew what to, to um, experience. And so I went alone for the first visit, very alone. <laughs> so I I walk in and um, you know I confirm the mom is very gentle, very silent, and the dad was talking to me as if we've known each other for a hundred years, <laughs> you know. And I liked that that setup, and I knew that uh, I was going to have uh, a good time planning for the dowry and and the wedding. Yep. My dad was shocked. He was uh, to him um his little girl I'm forever his little girl. Yeah. So he he couldn't believe that I'm getting married. He was like, uh, he's not going anywhere. That man is not going anywhere. He will <laughs> wait for him. <laughs> Talk to him and tell him to wait for you. You know. But uh, by and by, I brought in the conversation, and uh, after introducing him, he also got to know that uh, he is a good person. He's uh, and we are not rushing into things. Uh, it's not like. Uh, we are running away, we are trying to hide anything. We, we put everything out clearly, and uh, we said that we just want to walk in the right way, do things how they should be done. And by and by, they, they accepted him. 